Day one. <laughs> At long last, I found it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Skippy Gamer here. Welcome to the five days of gameplay of Cave Story for the PC. This is not off of Viz.com. Literally. As I said from my introduction video of this week on 5 Days of Gameplay, you can download this off the PC or any other sort of Nintendo system like your Wii U or I think your Wii U. Also your 3DS. N never mind that, I actually explained it there. Um, anyways, so, this was an indie game made by this person, released in 2005, and oh boy, it was one of the ca it was a case- it was an indie game that actually people really, really enjoyed. Even for people that don't really play indie games. There are places you can find this game for free on, but for the most part, there's other places that you'll have to pay for it. Alright, let's stop talking and let's get playing. I never used the controller before. Oh, there we go. From somewhere, a transmission. Connecting to network. Logged on. Extracting chat. Uh, sorry. Sue? You there? It's me. Kazuma. I man I managed to get away somehow, but I've gotten lost. I found a shelter, but there is nothing here. If you can't hear me, please answer. Please. Start point. This is a robot, named Quote. Please meet him. Now, how you control him? Um... The first time I played this, yes, I played this beforehand, and yes, I deleted my save file to play this game. Don't worry about it, I'm okay with it. Um, I'm gonna try to teach you how to do on the keyboard from memory. I'm playing this from my controller, but I'll try to remember how the keyboard was. So, if you're playing this on the keyboard, you use the arrows to move around, left and right, you can use up to look up, and when you jump, you can actually look down, press down while you jump to actually look down, so you can aim and shoot down. Um, Z is to jump, I think, and X is to fire. I'll teach you some of the other ones later. All right, to interact with things, you have to press down on on the you have to press down on the arrow keys. Health refilled. It took me a while to actually find out that you actually have to press it down instead of up or A. Game saved. Okay, these cards right here are the save spots. These hearts right here, well, if you go near them, they will refill your health and some ammo from cer for certain guns. I might as well tell you something now. This, this character is a robot, but that doesn't mean... He could stay underwater. You could drown if you stay underwater too long, especially little creeks like this. Okay, I should get out out now. Whew, almost died. I I could have survived for ten more minutes. Uh, not that long, actually. Anyways, never mind. All right, first cave. All I have to do is go this way. Do not touch these spikes. They are instant kills. Literally, they will take all your health and you'll die. If you die, you will respawn at the save point. Press down to interact with this thing. Got a life capsule. I'm gonna let, give you guys some time to think about it, but does this game remind you of anything? I'll tell you what it is later. Depending on how hard you hold down the jump button, you will jump up further. Just press down to interact with things, even people. Even for treasure chests. Open the chest. Got the pist polar star. From somewhere, a transmission. Searching for user Sue. One user Sue found. Sue. Please respond. 
they're looking for you. Are you asleep? Your brother is so lonely. Alright. Here's your gun. All I have to do is... If you're playing this on the keyboard, you have to fire with the X button. As you can see, this gun doesn't reach that far. And I'm surprised this person is still sleeping alive. Depending on where you aim your character, you can shoot anywhere. Shoot while you jump. If you jump and press down and then fire, you can actually fire down. Just hold, while you're jumping, hold down the down key and then the fire button as fast as you can or just fire to shoot down. And this will come in handy sometimes. Oh! I... Collect these triangles to level up your gun. Okay, now that I'm talking about leveling up your gun, there's something I must warn you. Once you get to level 2, I'm gonna have to do something I don't really like doing. I don't want to do, but you want, I want to show you. So, get up to level 2, then I'll show you. And you may not like it. But, just continue on. Once we get this, level, this gun to level 2, then I'll talk about it. But, on another note, I recommend getting to the save point now, just in case. Because there's going to be... I don't know. I don't know. I think these enemies are too easy for you to beat. I mean, like... I think you can beat them very easily, but either way, just save it. Save it to the first moment you get, because you never know what you'll come across in this game. You have to shoot with a gun to break those blocks. Ow. Oh. This door is an enemy. Six health to kill it. Sue, answer me. I'm so hungry. There's nothing to eat, to, and I've been reduced to, to feeding on cockroaches. Ew! Haha, ha, that was a joke. Haha. Ha. If you have to, if I have to, though, I really will. Hand over the key. No, I won't. Are you trying to protect Sue? She's a stranger. She's not one of us. She's a good person. I did never betray her. Toro, go. When the doctor comes, you know what he... Uh, you, know, you know he'll take someone away again. If we don't... If we don't turn Sue over, it might be you he takes instead. But... But... The key, Taroko. <laughs> Sick the landing! Ow. Well, thank goodness the floor broke my fall. Okay, so once you're ready, talk to this person. What? You're not an enemy? I thought for sure it was them. I'm King. Pleased to meet you. I'm I'm the number one in this village. Not that not that that means a whole lot, with only six of us left. Well, seven counting soon. She's not one of us, though. She's just an outsider who showed up recently. Talk to him again. King... King who? <laughs> Blast that Taroko. She... She ran off somewhere when you fell. Oh, was that the girl in the, in the green coat? I did not notice. <laughs> well, come on, everyone would notice. Alright, from here... You can actually look around, but... But if you want to go on in the story, I could tell you that has something to do in this room. Bef... Bef... Bleh! Man, I can't talk. Before we do, I want to walk around a bit. Because there's some items I think you're going to need later on, so... Here's some people you could talk to. He's not important, but hey, let's talk to him. Chomp, chomp. Oh, you startled me. Sue? Oh, right. 
the girl in Arthur's house, right? She's living with Tor Toroko. Sweet girl, that. She says sh she says says she's searching for a sky dragon. Dragons that soar with the skies. Do those those kinds of things really exist? Who knows? Who knows? Well, in any video game or story or movie, anything's possible. Ooh, look, save point. Whenever you see this card symbol, a floppy disk, that's a sign that this this is a save point. Like I said, I recommend saving it whenever you can. Alright. Oh, actually, I want to talk to this guy first. Excuse me. I'm Jack. The number two around here. This door leads to the Mimika graveyard, where the hero Arth Arthur lies. Oh, what am I doing, you ask? Well, mushrooms have been springing up in the graveyard, so I'm guarding the doors so to make sure they don't get out. How can mushrooms get out? I mean, unless they're toes, they can't walk or anything. Oh, well, it must be superstition. Alright, anyways. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, I have actually played this game for quite some time a bit. Like, the first time I got it, I did not hesitate to play it. So, I did get far a bit, but there was a point where I wanted to stop so I could do this. So, yeah, I'll let you know when I stop. I'll let you know when, when, when we get to the point where I stopped. So, you want to go to where I just went to and open this chest. You got the map system. I recommend getting this item, okay? We could get lost easily. Something's written here. So long as you re retain your spirit of exploration, surely you shall find your way out. This I believe. I believe. I don't know why I said that, but it sounded good. Alright. If we try to go in this house, which is Arthur's house, which I think is where Sue is, it's locked. We need a key to open it, and I think the key that King was asking Taroko to get was the key. Possibly, we'll, we'll probably find out later. But was there anything? I think there... I forget. Okay, but first, go up all the way here if you've been watching me move around. Oh, I want you to talk to this person for a second. If I could get to her. This is our farm. We raise flowers here. My job is to watch over the farm. We Mimigas depend on these flowers for substance. Red flowers, though, are bad news. If you eat to the red flowers, they say your blood starts to boil and soon you fall fall over dead. Good thing we don't have any of those growing here. Hmm, now that seems interesting to know. Oh, that's what's down here. We get another life capsule. Alright, let's get out before I drown. I really don't want to drown. And true fact, I don't- I can't really swim that good. Literally, that's actually a true fact about me. Okay, I want a moment of silence here. Silence. Okay, I asked you something earlier, and now I want you to say it. Does this game or the gameplay remind you of anything? It should. Think. Nintendo fans, think hard. Think. Think. Okay, if you're starting to get headaches, I might as well tell you. The gameplay is best known as a Met Metroidvania game. Or a platform adventure. It's basically like Metroid, the 2D Metroid games. Like Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion. It's basically like those games. <laughs> I could tell that could be, could be this guy's inspiration for this game. I just really wanted to tell you that. Not many people know about it, I don't think. Actually... This game is really... A lot of people really like it. What did I press? Oh. Okay, as I recall, I think... From the manual? There is a manual that comes when you download it. 
there is a button on the keyboard. I'm using the gamepad, so I don't really know what... ...what I'm pressing or anything. You could pull it out. Oh, the keyboard doesn't work when I have the gamepad in. Um, okay. You can either pull it out from that button I press, I don't know what it was, or you could go to the inventory menu and just select it. How? As I recall, I th think it was Q or W key that takes you to the arm to the to the item room. And you could select map there, or you could just quickly access it from a from whichever key you press. I'm playing this on the gamepad, and the keyboard's disabled for this game. Once the gamepad's in. I'm gonna save it here. I'll be back. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. Alright, sorry. Alright, let's go. Sorry if you see any lag going on. My computer's not really a gaming-like computer. Alright, so once you're ready, go to the res reservoir. You could go underwater if you want, but there's really no point. Shoot this fish down. If you if you go underwater, shoot it down, because it will hurt you. To see this sparkling thing? Go on it and press down. Something gleams in the dirt. You got the silver locket. Oh, I'm drowning. Oh my gosh, I'm drowning. Oh, okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna... You have drowned. Want to retry? Please do. Oh, but before you get it, you might as well talk to her. Sue? Yeah, I know her. That's the cute girl who says... Uh, who stays cooped up in Arthur's house all the time, right? She showed up uh, here not too long ago. We found her washed up uh, right here in in the reservoir. She doesn't seem to like us much. I don't know why, since she's a Mimiga just like us. Who knows? Who knows? I gotta say something. How did she get washed up in the reservoir if there's like no walls or any river right here? Did she come from up there? That path up there? I'm, I'm just very curious. Seriously, it just seems like she wouldn't even be able to be washed up there. Alright, enough. Alright, let's get this thing again. This time, we're gonna do right by not dying. Okay, stop the introduction. La la la. Oh. No, I did not mean pull out the map. Okay, die. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Ah! Whoa, that was Taroko. Hey, wait for me! Give me the key. No! Ow. That must have hurt. You okay there, King Buddy? King, sir? Highest. I. Never mind. Grrr. Toro, go! You're not getting away that easily. Don't worry, I'll get her. I just need to call the police. Okay, this is her house. Right here, if you've been watching me go down. All right. Um, I could have sworn she was here. Why you? I could. Wow! Hey, stop it! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I thought I'd been pushing the fire button. Okay, all I have to do is shoot her once, then talk to her. Eek! Save me! Save me! Huh? You're you're not with the doctor? Oh, I'm sorry. You had me worried. The doctor's uh, such a mean guy. Popping up in our village and taking us away. Sometimes even killing us. Like my brother. He killed he killed my little he killed my brother. Oh. That pendant. You found it for me? Sue gave gave that to me. Well, I shouldn't have it anymore. King gets his ears all in a tangle when he see, sees Sue and I get, getting along. Sue can't have... 
You can have it. Thank you, but... Come in. Come in! Huzzah! There you are! You can't hide! No, no! You've got the nose of a... I've got the nose of a bloodhound. You're a toaster, you don't have a nose, you just have a... Have a... Have a... You know, where you cook the toast on... With eyes and feet and two flappers on your ears and a... And a... And a... Indeed you do! That n that knows, and I dare save the brain as well. Misery, I found her first. You you guy, you guys are with the doctor, aren't you? So you're Sue, hey? The doctor has called for you. Come along now. Uh, what? I'm not Sue. Oh great. Yeah, Balrog. I leave the rest to you, Balrog. No wait, no wait. You've got the wrong. Not again. I always have to clean up. And here I found her first. So what's your deal? You're gonna fight me with that thing? Yeah, put him up. I knew it! Okay, this boss fight is pretty easy. He's gonna move at you two times. Well... All he does is try to chase after you. And the third time he sh starts chasing after you... I mean, he stops in between chases. And when he tries to chase you the third time, he jumps. Just pay attention to him and you'll know the pattern. If he catches you, you're gonna get toasted. Ow. I'm a waffle. No. Or pancake. Actually, I'm in the mood for pancakes. Oh my! Ow. See what you did? See what you did, Balrog? Oh! Woo! But he's pretty easy. All I have to do is keep dodging and shooting and boom, he's gone. Just you wait! You fought off Balrog. Okay, actually I should tell you now. Throughout this video, have you noticed his bar go up? Then during this fight, it went down, didn't it? Well, I might as well tell you now. You can level up your weapons only up to level 3. Level 3 makes them extremely powerful. However, don't get hit by any enemies. Any enemies. If you take damage too much, your your guns will level down. I'm not kidding. If you keep getting hit, they will level down. I think it's kind of a bummer, actually. I mean, it's like I don't know why he thought of it, but hey, I guess he wanted a good challenge. But still, it's one downside to it. And I'm sure a lot of people really hated this. Alright, let's refill the health. Do you want to save? Yes! Game saved. Man, so... We see a mix-up. Someone thought Taroka was Sue. Barriet, who, who is this Sue? And why do they want her? And who is... This doctor. Who is he? And what do they want with these little cute, cute things called the Mimigas? What is going on here? <laughs>